We now double down on tennis's dynamic duos with Leslie Allen. In tennis, on television, you tend to only see singles. The reality is more people play doubles than singles. An interesting thing happened in the open era of tennis. It used to be that the players, they played singles, doubles, and mixed. McEnroe Fleming, Navratilova Shriver, and that was pretty consistent right up through the late 80s. I think when more prize money became involved, and once there was a doubles ranking, you began to develop a whole new crop of players that were doubles specialists. Doubles is an amazing component of tennis. Every point is like setting a GPS. You must be wondering, what are they talking about? But they're saying, this is where I'm gonna serve, this is the response that you're gonna get. If you get that, do that, I'm gonna go here. And there's a lot of switching and everything going on. You got one shot, it's no ad. So every point is much more important in doubles. Doubles used to be all about coming to the net, coming to the net. What you will sometimes see will be two players on one side just ripping ground strokes. And that partner is trying to get in there and cut off the shot. The one thing you don't want to do in doubles is to be standing around occupying space. Sometimes people that play doubles, you put them on a singles court, they're lost. But on the doubles court, they are magicians. A doubles player could be a singles player improving their game because you're in different spots on the court than you would be in singles. It's about improvising, so you're improving your reactions. You could be a past singles champion, still want to stay in the game, continue to play. Maybe you're coming back from an injury. Or you can be a journeyman. Doubles teams are sticking together for a long time now, so if you look at a partnership like Coco Golf and Katie McNally, they gotta have a nickname, right? Makoko. So now people know when's Makoko playing, when's Makoko playing, when Serena announced that she was gonna play doubles with Ons Jabour. It wasn't Jabour and Williams, Ons Rina, a name. John Isner and Diego Schwartzman. Just the physical visual of them was interesting, but they had a name, Eastern Man. So fans made signs, they love them. It just shows how people are relating to doubles. I think over the years, doubles has gone from stepchild to creating stars to now being very relatable. Because two people on one side, so it becomes more of a team thing. They're not necessarily on the back court. They've created a lot more stories and interests, and they see all of the different dynamics that can happen. When you look at today's doubles, you can see some of the most incredible reflex shots and tactics. It's like a chess game out there, really. That's the beauty of doubles. Thank you so much, Leslie. Uh, if you checked yesterday's schedule, there were doubles matches on both Stadium 1 and Stadium yep. 2 last night. And, and here in the desert, a lot of singles players play the doubles, which is very entertaining. You both played singles and doubles in your careers. Chandy, a Grand Slam doubles champion. What, uh, what did you enjoy most about that discipline? Yeah, it's very different skill set that you need in doubles. Obviously, you know, coming into the net and when I played, serving and volleying almost every serve was kind of the, the key. Uh, so you develop a comfort level in those different areas of the court. And I also think for me, it was just fun, yeah. you know, to kind of have a little pressure off, not be there on your own, out there alone on a singles court to have somebody to play off of in doubles. And, you know, sometimes it was a little more pressure. You wanted to play well for your opponent. But it just, I think, provided a little bit of a release from the norm. And that's what so many singles players, I think, experience. And then you have the crowds. I mean, mm. they get into doubles sometimes in a very different yeah. way. And that was always so rewarding. So I think doubles is fantastic. And I wish and hope more singles players will continue to play. Not everyone agrees with uh, with, with Chanda Rubin. Uh, Riley Opelka has been on Tennis Channel before. This is what he said uh, on his Instagram story. Uh, the, the one thing he would change about the ATP Tour, quote, get rid of doubles. The only time people watch are when it's singles players or the Bryan brothers, Prakash. What's your reaction to this? Well, first thing is, brother didn't mince any words. <laughs> he said it exactly, exactly as he thought it. 
Look, there, there, there is an issue with as far as obviously what's what's more popular, and it's interesting because I, I've run into a lot of people on the grounds here who say, you know what, uh, we would love to see more doubles out there because look, that's what we play and we appreciate that. So they were actually on the grounds looking specifically to find more doubles matches out there, and that's where their interest was. I think it comes down to a lot of um, what you're what you're promoting as well. Uh, Steve said that there are more doubles matches on Stadium One and Stadium Two. I love seeing that. And to get more singles players to play doubles, I think it would be great. In the 70s, as, as, as uh, Leslie Allen talked about, everyone in the singles draw played the doubles draw. But now, of course, there's different things to keep in mind. Singles, there's more wear and tear. There's a lot more prize money in singles now. So you have to protect your investment. You have to protect your body. But uh, I think the more eyeballs we could get on the doubles and also just getting those personalities out there. There's some pretty spectacular personalities on the doubles tour as well. You might create some stars on that side as well. For sure. And on the WTA, to be fair, a lot of the top singles players yep. play doubles. Yep. Yes. Coco Goff, Jesse Pagula, Veronica Kudermatova. I mean, Arena Sabalenka and Elisa Mertens won major titles together when they were both ranked in the top 20. I mean, Spe that was a pretty harsh opinion from <laughs> Ryan Opelka, I will say. And maybe he's talking more on ATP side, but yep. I don't know. Get a little more informed on some of this. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what I say. All right. And another opportunity, you talk about Coco and Jesse, when those singles players are playing doubles, that's, that's double the superstar time on yep. the court. Yeah. So it's just, it's just better overall. Get more informed. Well, yeah, I think he actually proved against his own argument. Only when singles players play are the Bryan brothers. That's very important people to still be <laughs> playing doubles. <laughs>